Today I will show you how to configure and install carrier control firewall to secure your NAT. In the good point of this firewall that we can install it on a desktop computer with having one network interface card. And we don't need to purchase expensive devices. And we can easily configure this firewall for internet monitoring, user management, bandwidth management, and content filtering. And today, I will install the Caro Control Firewall in a VMware workstation for the practical purpose. Right click on the VMware workstation icon and click open. Here, click on create a new virtual machine and click next. Here, select installer disk and browse your Caro Control ISO file. Select your Cairo Control ISO file and click open. Click on next and here we should keep it as a Linux in Ubuntu. Then click next. Here we should enter a name for the Cairo Control firewall as well as browse the location where we would like to install the Cairo Control operating system. Then click OK and click on next. In this part we should select the disk space and 20 GB is enough for the Cairo Control. Click on next click customization for hardware changes like we can increase the memory processor and adding network adapter let's add a network adapter right click on add select network adapter and click on finish also let's add another network adapter now as you can see we have add three network adapter with NAT configuration now let's connect each network adapter with different virtual switch here we net 0 is connected with internet but vmnet 2 and 3 are in local network here we have connected the first adapter with a vmnet 0 i mean it's connected with internet and third adapter with a lan or vmnet 2 and the second adapter with the vmnet 3 or dmz connection when it's completed, click on close and click on finish. Now let's turn on the virtual machine for Caro Control installation. In the first stage, it's loading all installation file. Here we should select our language. I'm selecting English and click on enter for continue the process. Here enter the keyboard F8 button to accept the agreement of Caro Control policy. Here it's mentioning all the data in the hardest will be Format. For confirmation, enter 135 and press enter to continue. The installation process is completed 5 to 10 minutes. Here, remove the CD and reboot the system. Here you can see that the Caro Control Firewall has been loaded successfully. And here you can see we can access the Caro Control web interface configuration via this link. Or if you would like to bring some changes in the network interface, just press the enter, select the first option or network configuration and press enter. You can see that the first adapter is selected as a one interface and we have two other interfaces by the name of ETH. Ethernet and Ethernet 2. Press escape and exit to the main menu. Now it's time for configuring the Windows 11 network adapter to connect with the Caro control. Click on Windows top and click on edit the virtual machine settings. Here click on network adapter, select on custom and select VMNet 2. It means that the Windows is connected with the LAN interface of Caro control and click on OK. Now let's first start the Caro control firewall. After it loads successfully, then we should start the Windows operating system. Now turn on the Windows operating system and wait to load successfully. Now it's time to check that the Windows is receiving the IP address from the Cairo control or not. Click on Network and Network in Internet Settings and then click on Ethernet and scroll down. Boom, here you can see that we have received the IP address from the Cairo control. And now it's time for connecting with the Cairo control through the web browser for further configuration. As you can see this link, we have to enter the same link in the browser. Open your browser and type the same address. Click on advanced. In the below section, click continue. 
Here, select the installation language and click Next. Read the agreement and check this option and click Next. Here, select the time zone and click on Next. Click on License for entering the Cario Control License. Here, click Enter License. As I have the license activation key file, click register offline and browse the license key and then click on next. Now it's uploading the license key to the Cairo control firewall. Here click on next. The default username is admin and we have to enter the password. Then click on next and click on finish. Here we have to enter username admin in with our password. Before going to the Cairo control configuration, let's check our internet connection. Is it working or not? Open the CMD and type ping google.com with the dash T to have continuous ping. Here you can see still we don't have access to the internet. Now let's open the firewall. Click on the interface tab and right here you can see we have three interface. Let's drag the one interface into the internet interface section and then click on apply. Voila! You can see that we have connected with the internet successfully. And in the next section, we will have a complete firewall configuration, how to do the bandwidth management, how to filter the internet, how to block some pages on users, and how to monitor our internet services for a specific user or a computer. After the login, we have a dashboard that summarizes all the functionality of firewalls, even system monitoring or system health, user monitoring, and system reports. In the first section, we will have Cairo Control news and updates about the Cairo controls. In this section, we will have system status that when the system is started and all its parts are up to date and working properly. As you can see in this section, it's showing the total internet or bandwidth usage on one interface. Right here, showing system health, RAM usage, CPU, and desk usage. And in this area, it's showing showing connected users or computer with the upload and download usage and in the last section it's showing bandwidth growth for all the internet do we have in the network and now it's time for customize the Cairo control dashboard and remove those parts that are less required and keep the important one let's remove this as well as system status and let's drag the internet usage to the top as well as bandwidth usage for specific users now this part can help us to monitor the bandwidth usage overall as well as for a specific users or computers in the second stage let's configure the interfaces in this part we can simply drag drop the interfaces from LAN to one and vice versa and if you would like to change the IP address, double click on the interface and from the list select manual and enter the IP address you are receiving from the ISP. Also right here for adding several DNS IP address, just uh, enter the semicolon between each IP and enter the second DNS IP in third and fourth. After completion, click on OK. Now let's change each interface name. It can help us to have a specific interface for a specific network. And in the final stage, click on apply. In the traffic rule section, we can configure the NAT in the firewall to connect our LAN with the internet. And here is a default policy that is already been configured and we have internet access. And if you would like to add a new rule, just click on add. In the intrusion prevention section, by default, the firewall have configured some signatures and firewall rules that prevent intrusion into our firewall or network systems by default this signature database is going to update every 24 hour and if you would like to update it now just click on update now and if you would like to block a specific computer on the network go to the security settings and here enable the mac address filter 
and select the network and we would like to select the LAN in this section here it's prevent the list or permit only just we would like to select prevent it means anybody listed right here it will prevent to have access our network services and resources now click on add here if you would like to find a specific mac address go to the dashboard section click show on active hosts click on the specific computers connected and copy its mac address from here now go to the security settings paste the mac address and enter a description or a name click on ok and apply after this this pc will not be able to access our network services or internet so for the time let's remove this pc because it's my computer that i have access the Cairo control firewall if i implement it so i will not be able to access this firewall and now it's time for do the bandwidth management for a specific user or a computer connected on our network here we have to specify the total bandwidth we are receiving on one interface click on change and enter the total download and upload speed and click on ok for adding new policy or specifying the bandwidth for a specific computer click on add here enter a name for this policy and double click right here here we can add a user host or even traffic type or a application and web categories let's first add a host click on host and enter the specific computer mac address right here as you can see that we can add a computer name ip address subnet mask range and even ip version 6 addresses after enter its mac address click on ok click on ok again now for specifying the download speed for this computer double click here and specify the bandwidth for this computer and click ok if we would like to specify the upload speed just double click right here and specify the upload speed and click on ok after we have identified the bandwidth click on apply Tan -tan -tan. now it's time for filtering web traffic or blocking some website for some users like blocking the facebook youtube any website you can write filter in the content filtering section by default the Cairo control firewall has implemented and block some website for malware gaming hacking all these things and has allowed some website for windows update and caro control updates for the time being let's block the facebook for the user and before blocking the facebook let's check it's opening for us or not let's open a new top and type www.facebook.com boom the facebook website is open for the time being and let's create a policy to block the facebook page for our internal users right click on add enter a name like block facebook and double click on the detect content and from here click on url hostname right here enter www.facebook.com in the below section in the protocol make sure that the https is also select click on ok right in the source section if we specify any so it means this facebook will be blocked for all internal users and if you would like to block this facebook page for a specific user just double click it and from here you can specify a host name or a username that we will do it later now let's block to anyone now for the policy just double click on the action tab and from the action list click on drop or select the drop option and then click ok also from here we can drag drop the policy to the top or to the down because the prior it is very important and make sure that the policy is in the right location and click on apply now let's open the facebook page open a new tab type www.facebook.com and you can see the facebook page is not loading because it's been blocked by the caro control firewall now it's time for configuring the Cairo control DTP server just click right here and as you can see that we have two LAN Ethernet and uh, different network range for both of them and if you would like to change the IP address range select uh, each Ethernet 
and click on edit right here we can enter a name we can change the dns server and ip address range after you have completed click on ok and click apply in the third stage we would like to activate the username and password portal for all the users it means any user in the network would like to have internet access it needs to enter has username and password thereafter they will be access the internet services now for activating the user portal right click on user sections click on add to add a new user accounts and enter user detail username and password you can also add a description for the specific user in the group section if there is a lot of users for management so it's good to add a group and add those users that are related to each other for example hr department or finance or i now go to the domain and user login section and activate this two option and click apply after the apply just open a new tab in the browser type yahoo.com you can see now the user would like to have access the internet services he or she need to enter his username and password now for changing this logo in the login portal click on advanced option in the web interface section you can see the login page customization tick this option and prepare your logo with the 300 pixel to 600 pixel dimension then click on change select your logo and click open and click apply now let's log out this user go to the dashboard click on user right click on user and click log out now open another tab and type cnn.com boom you can see that now we have our own customized logo for our own organization Thank you so much and Allah Fizz.